Hello everyone, Charles Pax here at NYC Resistor. I just want to show you all a little project that I've been working on for MakerBot Industries for the next version of the MakerBot 3D printer. Um, you can see this handsome wooden box here. Uh, what this is is a filament drive mechanism and spool uh, that uh, will be a part of the Bowden extruder, uh, which will be included in the next version. Uh, so uh, let's just open it up. And this part comes off to reveal a spindle that uh, moves around quite smoothly and uh, I'll show you how that's set up. This is uh, a spindle that I put together on Thingiverse. Uh, I'm not sure what object it is, but uh, if you go to thingiverse.com slash Charles uh, you'll see the uh, instructions for this. Uh, and you can just build it out of cardboard. I made it out of a pizza box. So put that over there. All right, let's look inside. You can see um, the, I have two of these, one on either side. This holds the shaft uh, holding the spindle, uh, which isn't terribly exciting. Let's take a look at this. So in here is the drive mechanism. Uh, right here is the Ethernet port for the uh, extruder uh, controller board. And uh, let's just pop this open. Oh, basically what would happen is the, the film would come through, come up through the bottom, and come out of this. Uh, this is just a, a short little piece, but a, a tube would go to um, the heating uh, element. Let's pop this open. You can see here, this is kind of the uh, the son of the pack extruder, which is also on Thingiverse. And let's take a look here. We just have the controller board mounted on uh, this board itself, uh, which is quite handy. So if we look here, the way this operates is instead of a, a pinch wheel here, uh, you just have a piece of Delrin, or uh, otherwise called a cetal, that pushes the filament against uh, the uh, the pulley there. All right, and uh, that seems to be a bit more of a reliable way to do it. So I'm pretty pretty proud of this. This is pretty darn fantastic. Uh, and then the last feature that I want to show you is on the bottom here are these little 3M feet. Uh, just uh, I needed to do that because of the way I had to construct this box. So you can see that the flat piece is on the bottom in contrast to uh, the way um, the MakerBot actually is. I needed to do that uh, because there, I needed the extra uh, five millimeters uh, in this axis. So that is pretty much it for now. Uh, you can check this out at, I believe, uh, makerbot.com or wiki.makerbot.com slash Bowden. Uh, if not, you can do a search there. I'm not sure exactly where it is. So uh, I'm excited and you should be too. Bye.